Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a custom shaped text box using the pen tool in Photoshop. Custom text boxes are helpful if you need your text to wrap around irregular objects or fit into designs more seamlessly. You can download the project files for this tutorial, including both the before and after Photoshop files, to see exactly how everything was put together and have a photo to work from if you don't have one of your own. Let's get started. Taking a look at our source photo, you could always select the type tool and click and drag to create a rectangular text box, but it doesn't look as integrated with the image as it could. So what we're going to do is make a text box that fits the contours of the face in the photo. Press P to select the pen tool, and up top make sure that you have shape selected. You'll see why later, but it's so that we have an extra copy of our shape later in case we want to go back and change something. Now using the pen tool, trace along the right side of the subject's face. It doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer you get, the better it's going to look. Once you get to the bottom, hold shift and click over to the right side of the image. This will create another point directly in line with the last one. Keep holding shift and click again directly above the point you just created. Finally, click on your start point to close the shape. Press A to select the Direct Selection tool and click on the top right corner point. You'll want to move it around using the arrow keys so it's aligned vertically with the top left corner, or else you'll end up with some weird text wrapping effects. With your shape layer still selected, press T to select the Type tool, and if you hover over your shape you'll notice that the cursor changes from a square or a rectangle into a circle. When you see the circle, click to create a text area that will conform to the edges of the shape that we drew, and paste in your text. Now you can hide the original shape layer, and you'll see that your text follows the contours of the vector shape that we created. Now you can move the type and the shape layer over to the right away from the photo. And you can go back and adjust any of the curves using the direct selection tool. For the best effect, you'll want to go up to your Paragraph Palette and choose Left Justify for your alignment. If you have it on Left Align, you'll see that the right side gets all ragged, so that's why you want to use Left Justify. You can also use the Custom Shape tool instead of the Pen tool, or even import paths from Illustrator to use as text boxes. Any vector path will work. I'm John Shaver for Photoshop Video Academy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.